You're watching TVC News. Let's take you back to a previous story where we told you that the Department of State Services has apologized to the judiciary for the invasion of a court by its operatives. The DSS attempted to arrest Omoile Shore within the Federal High Court in Abuja on Friday last week. Now, lead counsel to Mr. Shore confirmed this to TVC News. Now, this comes three days after the DSS denied invading the courtroom to rearrest Mr. Shore who was released on bail barely 24 hours earlier. The Secret Service had said its men were stationed outside the pandemonium, and the pandemonium, rather, in the court was caused by Mr. Shurere's supporters. All right, we have joining me now to talk more on this, uh, this issues, rather, Ms. Aking Shore. He'll be talking about the commemor commemoration of Human Rights Day, especially as it relates to Omoile Shore. Thank you for joining us on the news. Now, there has been talks about uh, the fact that Nigeria has nothing to celebrate on this day because of uh, recent happenings, especially as it relates to Omoile Shore. And then questions have arisen as to if Nigeria is ready to uphold the tenets of human rights as uh, expressed in chapters four of the constitution. Well, 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 as far as I'm concerned, we don't uh, really have anything to celebrate uh, as Human Rights Day because uh, we are living under civil rule, yet we are under bondage. Um, to my election, Warrior and Co., who are currently you know, lamenting in the cell, and uh, to the Timmy supporters and the entire Nigerian populace who are you know, casualties of uh, all sorts of brutality in Nigeria. We cannot really, you know, be happy, you know, celebrating any day called, uh, you know, Human Rights Day. It's unfortunate that the uh, Nigerian situation is like this. Uh, we cannot be, you know, rejoicing when other people are actually, you know, languishing in cell, and uh, we we tend to be in democracy, you know, having love for one another. It's quite unfortunate, and uh, to me, uh, it's better today is cancelled, you know, in Nigerian, Nigerian context or. We call for you know uh, a convocation where you know our civil right uh, you know process and uh, you know uh, arrangement will be revealed uh, uh, rather than you know, celebrating uh, you know civil rights day. It's all right, uh, uh, there has been talks about uh, protecting and ensuring that uh, the rule of law is upheld and we protect uh, human rights. Where do we begin to address this? Because we see some civil organisations. Uh, who are concerned about the shrinking civil space saying or giving the government a 14-day ultimatum. Is that a where to start? Actually, that, that is the way, that, that's what to go about. And that is what, where to start with. Uh, as, in, as a state where democracy, the democracy you know, is thriving, we can afford uh, you know, to uh, leave you know, seeing people or seeing government you know, perpetrating you know, uh, anarchy in the Nigerian state. Uh, we are in line with the civil society who has given a 14 days ultimatum in this regard. And uh, I think uh, it is a right thing in the right direction. Uh, the civil you know, society uh, are the watchdog, you know, for the government, especially in terms of, uh, you know, the protection of human rights, as enshrined in Chapter 4 of our, you know, 1999 constitution. Uh, we, the, 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 the civil society, you know, is doing everything, you know, to make sure that Nigeria is safe to live and the human, you know, right, uh, you know, provision and declaration, you know, be upheld. It is uh, a development, especially in the case of Mr. Showere and uh, Bakare, you know, and all others that are currently, you know, being denied, uh, you know, freedom. Uh, of course, uh, to Nigerian context and uh, to all of us that are citizens of Nigeria, we are in sorrow. We are not really, you know, happy, and uh, we cannot, uh, you know, be wasting our time in celebrating any tall human right. And uh, for the civil society, today is supposed to be a day of sorrow for all of us because what we are witnessing in Nigeria, you know, is a thing, you know, ordinarily wouldn't have happened where, you know, human beings are living. So it's uh, unfortunate, and uh, we condemn it. We want to actually tell the people that. Uh, the human rights uh, society, you know, are actually doing the, the, the right thing, giving the government a term of 14 days to actually, you know, free those who are, if not even Chowere alone, free all those that have been given bail. It all right. the, the human rights process in Nigeria has to, has to be given, uh, you know, the ultimate, uh, you know, regards and uh, 
they, they, they needed uh, you know, support and uh, we have All to right. our loss. Uh, we we, we have, have to, to leave it at this point, yeah. uh, Mr. Akin Shawere. Thank you for your time on the news.